360 videos are awesome. But what if you could add hotspots to your 360 videos? Would you create a fully interactive 360 video virtual tour for real estate? Or show the passage of time? Take students along a virtual field trip with exotic animals? Or perhaps tell a story with multiple endings? You can do it all in minutes without learning any programming and without installing any software. And believe it or not, it's free on Veer. Let me show you. Hi, my name is Mick and you're watching 360 Rumors, the resource that 360 shooters trust for in-depth camera reviews and innovative techniques. So last week I got this email from Cleopatra. Uh, she's a tech YouTuber and she's got this project going on. She's gonna be traveling all over Africa and gonna be making a virtual tour out of it. How awesome is that? Because I've never been to Africa and I'd love to see a virtual tour of it. So you can make a virtual tour out of 360 photos, but what if you could make a virtual tour with 360 videos? Picture that, you'll be able to see the animals moving and you'll hear the sounds and all the wildlife. It's amazing! So the good news is that yes, we can actually make a virtual tour using 360 videos. Think of the many ways you can use that, like education. Like if you're a teacher, let's say, you can make a virtual field trip for your students. Like you can imagine how how much more engaging that would be to your students. You can also use it for real estate. So like check out this awesome example of a video virtual tour by Scouting Owl. So you can see this virtual tour uses 360 videos, but in addition, there are buttons on top so that you can jump to a different room. Let's say I want to go to the library, it jumps to that. Or I want to go to the main hall, it jumps to that. So that's pretty cool. And for creators, this can also be used to create interactive 360 video adventures. So like for example, when I went to VR LA, um, there was this exhibit where uh, they showed this horror film called Speak of the Devil in VR. Um, and you, it had 13 different endings it, depending on which path you chose. So you can do kind of like that, like an interactive 360 video. So it'd be kind of somewhere in between a 360 video and a game. So right now there are a few ways of creating a virtual tour using 360 videos. But they all require expensive software that costs as much as $400. Plus the learning curve for them is kind of steep and it takes a while to learn them. And third, they require a server so you'll have to host the virtual tour on the server which adds to the cost so the software that i'm going to show you is drum roll please free yeah that's right it's totally free not just for the software itself but for the hosting as well and as you'll see it's so intuitive and easy so it's free and it's easy that's why it's revolutionary Creating a 360 video virtual tour with Veer takes only four steps. Before we get started, I'm gonna get a snack. I'm hungry. This, by the way, is my, one of my favorite brand of noodles. Mmm, so good. So last weekend, it so happened that we went to San Diego Zoo. We had lots of fun and I took a lot of um, 360 photos and videos. We're gonna use those for this 360 video virtual tour. So the first step to creating a tour is to log on to Veer um, and so I go to my account and I click on upload and then I click on create interactive experience then I click on the plus sign and then I select the uh, video so, so it's still loading but you don't have to uh, wait for it to completely load you can start adding scenes to it so we click on this plus sign up here and I click on another um, scene so now it's finished uploading the files. When it's uh, done uploading, you can edit the files so by changing the titles. Another cool thing with Veer is that you can upload not just 360 photos and videos, but you can upload 3D 360 photos and videos. Uh, you can even upload 3D 180 
photos and videos. So if you let's say if you had the Canada Cool Cam, you can upload those here. So you can choose let's say um, 3D top bottom or side by side. Um, you can choose the uh, field of view. So in this case, I use the GoPro Fusion. So we'll keep it monoscopic and 360. And I'm going to change the title for this one as well. So besides editing the the titles of the scenes, you can also change the order. So you can drag it, um, and you can also change the initial view. So let's say with um, this one, I prefer that it would open up to this view, so I could. Uh, move the mouse there and then click on set so and then I click on set again and so the next time when, when it loads this is going to be the initial view when editing another thing you can change is what happens at the end of the video so you can click on this uh, pencil icon and then you can specify what happens does it go to the next scene or does it stop or do you want it to loop or you want to jump to a different scene you can control all that if you want to you can also add background music so you click on add and let's say here I'm uploading this music so now you can preview the virtual tour by clicking on the preview button and you can see what it looks like so even without us doing much work just besides uploading the files it's already quite usable so like you can click on scenes and you can jump from one scene to the other. Like from here, you can jump to the elephants or uh, go to the penguin scene. Kind of like that virtual tour, that real estate vir virtual tour that we saw earlier. And the uh, background music stays consistent throughout. Now to refine this virtual tour further, we can do step three, which is to add hotspots. There are three kinds of hotspots that you can add. One is just kind of like a way to go to a different scene. So let's say I want to add a, a hotspot over here, uh, and then I want it to go to, uh, let's say, the elephant exhibit. You can do that, change the label, elephant. So besides creating hotspots that uh, jump to a different scene, you can also add sounds. So this is useful for um, adding let's say narration when you add the sound item you can choose whether it will auto play now the third kind of um, hotspot you can add is a card now with a card um, you can add an, a, a photo or an external link so after adding the hotspots uh, when we're done we click on the done button and that brings us to the next step where we add the title and description for the virtual tours. So you can also change the thumbnails by clicking on this thumbnail button. And then you can choose any of the scenes, like let's say this scene, for example, and let's say you want the, this view, you click on take a screenshot. So when you take a screenshot, this uh, frame will be the thumbnail for your virtual tour. And when we're done, you just click on publish that's it so once it's published you can now share the tour by copying the URL and posting it on Facebook let's say and it will automatically generate the thumbnail or you can send the URL by email or text it to your friends another thing you can do is embed the tour by clicking on the share button and then look at the um, embed section and copy it and then paste that to the um, HTML section of your website so what if you want to edit the tour it's pretty easy just go to your profile here under my uploads and then on, uh, look for that pencil icon click on that and then click on edit scene and hotspot so you may be wondering is it really free I mean it sounds almost too good to be true so this is a question I've kept asking Veer to confirm and they've constantly reassured me that yes, everything that we've seen so far, that I've shown in this uh, tutorial and my previous one, they're all free. Uh, now in the future, there will be some um, advanced features and those will be uh, paid features and they're hoping that you'll upgrade to them, but you don't have to, you can use it as is and um, it's totally free. 
as you can see it's really easy you should try it out yourself there's a link in the description to how you can get started and if you don't have a 360 camera yet don't worry I've got sample files that you can use to upload to practice with them and in the description I've also listed some affordable 360 cameras starting at just $100 if you found this video helpful hit the like button and let me know in the comments how you plan to use this 360 video virtual tour do you want to use it for real estate for education or to create the story with multiple endings let me know in the so thanks for watching and i'll see you in 360.